in this short video we will discuss about the purpose of accreditation there are many authorities around the world which are responsible for accrediting programs generally an accredited program provides the constituents an assurance about the quality of the program also the programs are recognized around the globe what does an accreditation look for they look for the strengths and the weakness of the program so you would know where you perform well what are your shortcomings and you have a process you develop a process by which you can improve on your shortcomings as a net result it provides golden opportunity for the students to be employed easily an accreditation board looks at different factors to determine whether an institution is progressing in its program or not they look at program educational objectives these are those which a student attains after 3 to 5 years after their graduation then they have student or program outcomes these are outcomes which are expected from the students immediately after their graduation at a lower level you have the course outcomes which the students are expected to achieve upon completion of a course to provide all these the curriculum of the program should contain both the breadth and the depth knowledge of the specific discipline to improve your program you have to consider feedback from various constituents like alumni like the industrial members faculty members students parents and many other stakeholders here is a summary you look at your current curriculum you obtain the attainment levels then also you get input from the various constituents based on industry needs you can come up with a different curriculum enhanced curriculum which can provide assurance to the community at large that your students have the much needed skills in order to do all these things inside the program development process the courses might have the coordination minutes course coordination minutes and at the end of every semester the course instructors might generate an end of semester report which could contain various feedback for the next offering of the same course similarly courses can be improved from the perspective of the lectures and the labs let's see some google sheet which could help you to attain some of these things here is a document which talks about information technology curricula 2017 this is released by acm ieee based on this you have a google sheet here here it talks about what are the requirements of an it curriculum essential ones and the supplementary ones here are the essential ones and what is the percentage that is required as per this curricula it 2017 then for each of your courses if you can map your course objectives or course outcomes to the respective domain knowledge which is again provided by the IT 2017 curricula then we can calculate how much of the expected credits you are attaining so this is a sheet which could be developed to assist you to know whether your curriculum meets the current needs of the society then you could also map your course outcomes to the student outcomes you have a sheet for each course so here is an example you have a sheet for each course in which the instructor can provide the course learning outcomes here and they could be mapped to the respective SOs or the student outcomes it could be numbers it could be anything you have then based on the whole program you can see in a semester for example 
in a semester how many SOs are covered in each semester. Here there are six SOs which are suggested by uh, Abbott for the IT um, curriculum. So you can see in semester 3, SO1 is covered by seven CLOs. Here SO3 is covered and so on. So you will get a view of how your courses are mapped to different SOs. Similarly, you can see how are these as SOs assessed. And you could also check whether the mapping is okay and so on and so forth. So these Google Sheets, which are developed by our community here, can help you to check and validate your process. I hope it's clear now. Thank you.